Migrants are once again flowing across the Greek border into Macedonia. Skopje reopened the crossing after a protest blocking a key railway line came to an end. But restrictions remain in place. Only people from the conflict-hit countries of Syria, Afghanistan and Iraq are being let through. Although this is relieving some of the backlog, thousands of people remain stranded at the frontier. Uh, we are uh, we are here for uh, four or uh, three days. Uh, we are wait uh, here for uh, just a stamp. But uh, you know, weather is cold. Uh, ladies, babies, it's very hard to stay here. Here, but uh, we are wet. No drink, no food. I don't know what happened. Some one million migrants reached Europe in 2015. Aid agencies say this year the number could be similar. The majority are trying to reach richer European nations such as Germany and Sweden. The current cold temperatures are making passage more difficult, but many remain undeterred. When the weather during the winter is like that, people, will, people in need will still try to find a way to cross the sea and um, get to Greece and um, go on with their, with their trip to the rest of the European countries, the final destinations. What we are trying to do uh, at this site is at least provide people with uh, dignified conditions. In the face of the unprecedented flow of people, many countries are taking steps to tighten their borders. Please, 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 get out. Please, there's a road here. The European Union, meanwhile, is still struggling to come up with a unified response. Plan to relocate 160,000 migrants throughout the bloc is widely considered to have failed.